the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. As I was browsing the Indian news, I came across this one story that's been dominating the discussions. And this is of a cab driver who had an altercation with a woman on a zebra crossing. She came to him, slapped him 22 times, smashed up his phone, damaged his car, and then ripped off the side mirrors, stole 600 rupees off him, and then the police arrested the man, slung him in a jail cell for 28 hours with no food. India is my country. Every Indian is my brother and sister. I love my country. Shut up. Well done. Well done to the Indian justice system under the premiership of Mr. Modi. <laughs> my question is, what on earth did they arrest him for? For making the hand hurt of the woman that slapped him so many times. I mean, I can't even show the footage because YouTube's gonna age restrict and block the whole video. So you can see as she's slapping him, She's flipping jumping as if to gain the maximum amount of momentum. You know, like a child does when, they, when they're swinging like crazy. It's clear that the police think that he wasn't a worthy enough punching bag for this woman. He wasn't plump enough. So the police didn't take much action, but only when CCTV footage emerged and then there was a, a hashtag that was trending that then got the police to file a FIR, yeah, some sort of legal documentation to get some action, but unfortunately nothing has been done so far. Now let's break some things down, yeah? Number one, when the woman was asked about this, she said it was self-defense. Self-defense? What about my man self-defense? He's getting slapped up 22 times. Yeah, and I think I made this clear, he did not retaliate. <laughs> it's like flipping E Honda from Street Fighter. As soon as the guy wasn't retaliating, what on earth could she be possibly defending against? Him looking at her. Number two, although the guy is worried, he's saying, yo, I'm embarrassed, yeah? I can't leave my house without people asking me about it. You know, he's getting slapped up by a woman in front of everyone, yeah? It's not really a manly thing. However, I still think it was a very clever thing on his behalf. Now hear me out, because had he retaliated, his religion would have been brought to the forefront. What does Islam say? He's a Muslim. It's these Muslims that are doing it. I mean, India is already antagonistic towards Muslims. Modi is a, is a hardcore extremist Hindu guy and his BJP party are nutcases. So they've been legitimizing attacks against Muslims. And or it would have been an attack towards men. The old men think it's okay that you can slap and do this and do that and... But the fact that he didn't, now the question should arise. What religion was this woman? <laughs> because the woman was clearly a Hindu. Are we gonna start linking it to the scripture, the Mahabharat, who all it talks about is war? Of course not. Or are we gonna start talking about men's rights? Yeah, and abuse is taking place towards men. Of course not. Number three, it's clear that the police favored the woman in this case, yeah? But what about equality? Yeah, are men and women equal? Does India see them as equal? Yeah, can you make your mind up because it's getting confusing? Either they're equal or they're not. Yeah, because in this case, we're not seeing equality happening here, to be honest. Because had he thrown a few jabs, he would have to organize his burial arrangements in prison, mate. Number four, people are saying he was patient, he was strong, he was resilient, but how comes people aren't mentioning his religion? Because anytime discussions take place, people say, yo, Islam is always in the news for this, and the Muslims doing this, and Muslims doing that. Hang on a minute. Here, a Muslim has done something amazing. 
but his religion is being suppressed, it's not being mentioned. However, when Muslims do something negative, boom, 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 front page, front page, front page. So I think it's clear why this disparity is taking place because good Muslim news is suppressed and bad Muslim news is exaggerated and plastered everywhere. When it comes to other religions, their religion is not mentioned and excuses are made for them and of course their positive things are plastered everywhere. And number five, why has there been no talk of disciplinary action towards the police that handled this case? It's clear they didn't research the facts properly. It's clear that they have wronged this individual. What compensation will he be receiving? Is Will there be policy changes? Will there be internal investigations? Doesn't seem like any of that's happening because this is the policing of India, ladies and gentlemen, of course. So guys, let's wrap this up. Ever since Modi has come into power, ever since he was known as a butcher of Gujarat, killing majority Muslims there and then coming into power. It's clear that he is undergoing an oppressive rule. Yeah and because it's Muslims people are like yo you know it's all right it's them. But the problem you guys need to understand about, about oppression and oppressors is it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop at that group. Yeah eventually it will overflow. The glass will overflow and it will affect other people as we're seeing the mismanagement of Modi when it comes to the Covid. Yeah, allowing these Hindu religious ceremonies to take place, flinging feces about, Dutty. drinking cow urine and now the Delta virus was originally known as the Indian variant, called it Delta virus now. The Delta virus is the super strain that's making its way everywhere now. So you got a knock oppression wherever it is and not just be okay yeah it's happening to the Jewish, the Christian, the Hindus, whatever. Yeah, whoever it is you should speak out. So yeah let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.